When I saw your name on this project, for some reason it made sense because I, I know you. You know, when I played a recurring role on Law & Order, the one thing I took away from that show, I'm like, Marishka has such a great big heart. Remember? <laughs> so it made sense that you were part of Emmanuel, part of this project. Viola, can I ask you where you were when you um, heard the news? I literally was at home watching the news and um, floored. And as much as I hear about tragedies all the time, this one was really seared through me, and I'll tell you why. As a Christian woman, as a lover of God and Christ, and as a woman of color and a South Carolina native, um, I was floored by how this man, Dylan Roof, walked into the church during Bible study and how they welcomed Welcome. him in. It's those kind of details. But as much as I know about history, and as much as I'm not surprised by acts of hatred and racism and violence, um, that one still shocked me. What I feel, even as a person of color, is that there is a resistance in our country and in our world with people to negate history, to negate the part of us that have been so molded and shaped by it. And as much as America is a beautiful country, and it is beautiful, it's beautiful because of its affirmations of life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness for all people. It's, it's, it's a way you can go and be who you are and, and, and live the American dream. It's also a country that was built on Jim Crow laws, on the black codes, on policies that really were about restricting our human rights. It's like um, being in love with a great, great relative who treats you with all the love and kindness in the world, but went to jail for murder for 20 years and trying to reconcile that love. So we have been shaped and molded for generations, generations with that hate with those restrictions. And what it's done is it's formed generations of people who have settled into that hate and don't recognize it as hate. They recognize it as it just is. Um, oh. and, and that is really the foundation of a lot of what happened in Charleston, South Carolina that we have to acknowledge before we can get beyond it. And still happening now. Absolutely. A lot of my anger is the result of growing up African-American and feeling like I am on the other end of that hate, feeling less than, feeling victimized all the time, and how dare you, how dare you, so then I justify mine. Again, the strength in their vulnerability, the grace, the grace, God's grace in their vulnerability doesn't mean, doesn't mean there isn't rage, doesn't, doesn't take away. This is all so messy. Humanity is messy. We're all messy. But these things, if we can find an integration for our humanity to not carry out these acts of violence, if we can stand our own pain, our own shame, our own, the, 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 the ways that we, our needs weren't met. If we can yeah. sit in that and say like, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, yeah. and I'm just gonna cry it out instead of hurting someone else. Yeah. So I was um, so deeply struck with all the humanity and the love and the, and the courage and the love. <laughs> But the only, the other thing that I was struck by is how many people I have approached since the AMA uh, uh, shootings that know nothing about it. That we've gotten so desensitized to these mass shootings that they just are. Because the other thing that is gotta be at the center of this narrative is accountability. It's accountability. Listen, I, I would like to even say with myself 
that I am a woman of color, I'm from South Carolina, I'm the one that people want to hate or whatever, but then I also have to check my hate and my anger, which is the genesis of all of this. It's not just white hate. It's hate in general. There's no white to it. There's no black to it. There's no um, homosexual to it. There's nothing to it. It's just hate. The love, the real love um, and grace and forgiveness of the survivors absolutely struck me. Where does forgiveness and love come from? How do you get from a point of trauma to the point of saying, I'm looking at the face of someone who tore my life apart, but I'm going to choose because I have to survive. I'm going to choose to get to the point of understanding what they say is forgiveness, which is giving up all hope of a different past. I'm going to choose to get to that point because God wants me to. I'm hurting, I'm mad, but I'm going to trust God in all of this. The one thing I want to understand and something that people just throw in the heap is where does hate come from? That was my question. I want to know where Where that hate hate comes comes from. from. I want to know why you hate so much. And I guarantee you, if I were to sit down with the haters, if I were to sit down. It comes from fear. It comes from fear and it comes from something so deeply personal within that individual that once again, it's easier to cause pain than to feel the pain. It starts from our need, just as people, beyond race, beyond anything. It starts from our humanity. That inability for us to connect to ourselves and therefore to connect to others. Because it's a dirty word to be vulnerable in our culture today. It's an absolute dirty word. It's, it's great to be courageous, as Brene Brown says, but it's nasty to be vulnerable. And so then there's, there's no place to go. When there's no place to go for that, guess what? It goes out. Wow. It goes down to the internet. It goes to hate groups. And it goes, the thing that is very unfortunate is we, unfortunately, we have a history in this country where we have justified hate. And so when you have that breeding ground, then AME was gonna happen. But the beauty of, of, of what, hap- what has happened is the possibilities of the human spirit, the possibility of actually moving on. The beauty of this film is with any predatory experience, whether it's sexual assault with anything, the reason why there is a predator is because he's dehumanized the victim. And it's like you said, with Emmanuel, we're humanizing the victim, is what we're doing. Mm-hmm.